week update. 30 week. 40 week today update. We're in Brownsville. No, we're not. Um, well, at least where did I get this from? If not from back home. Oh, Y'all should see. I should show you all the stuff my in laws brought. They stocked up our fridge just on time for the coronavirus. Um, and we had just gone grocery shopping, so I'm glad we didn't get like a lot of frozen stuff because they filled up our freezer. But anyways, in today's update, I failed to vlog earlier. So right now it's 3.30 p.m. At 10.30 this morning, I went to my pre-op appointment. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Um, so I got a bracelet there with my name on it and everything it says my date of surgery 3 20 2020 at eight o'clock so that means my surgery is tomorrow morning at eight o'clock to have stella um that's crazy what's i gonna say this is my first scheduled c-section with sophie i went into labor on my own i labored as at home as much as I could. I only labored at home for four hours. I showed up to the hospital. Um, I labored another four hours and I only dilated up to three centimeters and then her heart rate was dropping and she was in distress. So we went for a C-section and I had her at 11.50 a.m. So that's how that happened with Sophie. This time around, and I had her at 39 weeks, five days. This time around, this baby made it past her due date. Her due date was yesterday, right yesterday? Oh, so this is 40 week, one day update. <coughs> made it past her due date, and there's no sign of her coming at all, you guys. <laughs> she is super high up, you guys. Like, it's not even a joke. I feel like the entire third trimester, she's been up in my rib, and this whole time it's been her head because she's breached she's still breached she did not flip she has not flipped she will not flip because tomorrow we're having the surgery and um so that is the update at my pre-op appointment they asked me a bunch of questions and basically all the stuff that they ask you at the hospital to me this is so weird because i didn't have this with sophie you know i just went into the hospital and labor and this time around since it's scheduled you have to go to a pre-op appointment where they ask you all the questions that they would ask you at the hospital they ask them at that appointment they took out blood they measured me they weighed me they basically did everything that they had to do explain the surgery to me explain the protocols that there is at our hospital right now because of the coronavirus so there's only one person allowed into the hospital with me which will be jonathan and only he can come in and leave with me nobody else like they can't be switching like my sister's gonna be here but she can't go visit me my in-laws will be here they cannot switch with him to go in to visit me nobody so this is a really crazy time to be having a baby honestly um if this were my first I think I'd be more like sad about it maybe but I don't know anyways so with all this stuff that's going on I'm super happy to say that my sister decided to come so um she got her ticket this morning yeah she got her ticket like at 11 or 12 for 3 p.m. and it's 3 35 so she already is on a flight to Houston and then from Houston to New Orleans so we're gonna do a couple things right now and then we're gonna head over to New Orleans to pick up my sister and I'm so happy and I'm really sad that my mom's not here and I'm really sad that my mom is sad that she's not here um, but I'm really happy to at least have somebody here with me and my buggo of course who are you picking up who are you picking up today? My sissy? My sissy. My sissy. She's your what? What is she? 
Dang! Wait, 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 there's eggs on the floor. Careful with the eggs, don't break your eggs. Where's my sushi? This is nine right here. Should we get off? <laughs> Mommy, no, you have to remember we go right there? Go! Look through those doors. Over there. It's not the next day. <laughs> so we're at the hospital. It's a we're trying to eat. As my last meal, I wanted to leave, and um, we've been here waiting for like an hour. How do you do it? We're so tired. It's already about to be 8.30, and we got here over an hour ago. And I think there's only like one chef because, oh my god, they're taking freaking forever, and I'm not supposed to eat a heavy dinner and here I am gonna have steak and potatoes and broccoli and a whole ass dessert. So yeah, I might get in trouble tomorrow. Yep. What are you having? What is it? Chicken potato pasta. Typical, typical. Yeah, we're waiting, we're tired. We'll see you guys tomorrow. My sissy is here. Thank you. Here we are. It's thick like you. Alexis like got some thick potatoes, some thick steak, and I got some thin spaghetti. I mean thin spaghetti. Wait, Papa's gonna help you because I'm gonna eat Papa, okay? Thin potatoes and a thin steak. And Johnny hasn't gotten anything, so. Aquí anda este enseñando corazón una vez. Oh my god. <laughs> Como los gorilas. <laughs> 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 <laughs>